Now, these new developments, a hate-filled city councilwoman's under arrest, facing a new felony charge in connection with a Channel 2 Action News investigation. Only we were there as agents from the State Department of Revenue took her into custody this afternoon. Investigative reporter Jody Fleischer live now in our newsroom with what led to that arrest. Justin, state agents tell me this is the first of many charges they expect to file relating to our investigation. They say Ruth Barr lied about being an enrolled agent, which is a special designation given out by the IRS. Investigators say it's just one of the many misrepresentations she made to her clients as well. Many metro area taxpayers who trusted Ruth Barr to file their returns have been waiting to see this Hapeville Councilwoman in handcuffs. State agents say it's just the beginning of their criminal case against Barr, now facing a felony charge for lying. It's kind of a pattern we've noticed. We're working on a much larger case that we hope to indict soon. Uh, and this was just uh, one of the, the many charges we hope to bring. She's facing one count of perjury for lying under oath in this 2013 deposition. She claimed to be an enrolled agent, but the IRS says otherwise. Barr had also listed that on her business letterhead. And that's a designation the IRS gives out that requires a lot of training and certification and puts you at a, a higher standard. The deposition followed an investment scheme in which Barr defrauded this former tax client out of nearly $200,000. It's just part of Barr's trail of allegations and financial troubles. Thousands of her former clients now have to pay back inflated refunds they received from the state. We just hope that uh, the people will make the right decision and, and review their returns before they file. Tuesday night, a deputy went to the Hapeville Council meeting to serve Barr with an injunction to keep her from doing taxes this year. After whispering with the mayor, Barr abruptly left the meeting while the deputy was in the restroom. She later caught up with her at home. Barr will have 30 days to appeal that injunction, which also applies to her daughter. Agents hope it will send a message to any clients they have left. With everything going on, I would, I would be very careful about uh, using, using them. Um, and that's why we filed the injunction, to hopefully prevent that from happening. Barr will likely spend the night in the Fulton County Jail. She's scheduled to have a bond hearing in the morning. She's also awaiting trial on a different felony charge in Gwinnett County. That one stems from a fraud allegation from one of her family members in 2013. Barr has denied all of the allegations. Live in the newsroom, Jody Fleischer, Channel 2 Action News.